This talk is an overview of psychiatric medications. This talk will outline the major classes of psychiatric medications, also known as psychotropics. A psychotropic is defined as any medication that has an effect on a person's mental state. The major classes of psychotropics include antidepressants, mainly used to treat depression, anxiolytics, mainly used to treat anxiety, mood stabilizers, mostly used for mania, antipsychotics, mostly used for psychosis, sedative hypnotics for insomnia, stimulants and related medications for ADHD, medication-assisted treatment for substance use disorders, and anti-dementia medications for dementia. Next, for each of these classes, I'll outline subtypes along with examples. For the antidepressants, there are the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, atypical antidepressants, and serotonin modulators. There are also two older classes of antidepressants, the tricyclic antidepressants, or TCAs, and the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs. Next are the anxiolytics. On a daily basis, anxiety disorders are treated with the same medications used to treat depressive disorders, that is, the antidepressants. However, patients with severe anxiety or panic attacks may require as-needed, in-the-moment medications to abort acute anxiety or panic. These medications include antihistamines, beta blockers, and benzodiazepines, among others. Next are the mood stabilizers, including lithium and the anti-epileptic drugs lamotrigine, valproate, and carbamazepine. Next are the antipsychotics, which include the first and second generation antipsychotics. Clozapine is a second generation antipsychotic, but I place it in a separate class due to its distinct characteristics, particularly its higher efficacy and need for intensive side effect monitoring. Next are the sedative hypnotics, a heterogeneous class of medications with various mechanisms of action that are used to promote sleep. These include the melatonin agonist Remelteon, Trazodone, an atypical antidepressant, Doxepin, a tricyclic antidepressant, and Zolpidem, a benzoreceptor agonist. Next are the stimulants, and related non-stimulant medications used to treat ADHD symptoms, norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, and alpha-2 agonists. Next are medications used to treat substance use disorders, commonly referred to as medication-assisted treatment. These medications exert their therapeutic effects by agonizing or antagonizing receptors that substances of abuse typically bind to, such as nicotine and opioid receptors. Last are the anti-dementia medications, including acetylcholinesterase inhibitors and NMDA antagonists. These are the major classes of psychiatric medications, but there's one more type of medication that psychiatrists should be familiar with, which I call secondaries. These include any medications used to treat the side effects of a primary psychiatric medication. Hence, they are secondary medications. These include antihistamines and VMAT inhibitors for the extrapyramidal side effects of antipsychotics, but can also include medications such as metformin for antipsychotic-induced weight gain, levothyroxine for lithium-induced thyroid toxicity, and levocarnitine for valproate-induced hyperaminemia, among others. That's the end of this talk. I hope this is a useful framework to organize your knowledge of psychiatric medications. Thank you.